Now, now that I said though, every pantheon basically has that one goddess or god that created all the other major gods and goddesses. In this case, Ding Yun is one of them. Again, a lot of her pictures of her being green. Um, the first one, when I started a fall with Ding Yun, that is usually how she is betrayed. Um, and all green leaves for hair, you know, um, elvish eels with Celtic cat twos covering her whole body. Because she is the, the divine goddess, basically the one that tops them all. Um, she had a lot of children, and being a wonderful goddess that she is, as we talked about, she's goddess of birth and fertility. So if you need help with your, you going, you having a baby, um, you can ask her for, you know, help and delivery. Or if you're trying to get pregnant, you can ask her for help and fertility, not just for women, but for men as well. Uh, creation, she basically created the universe because if you see here, she is goddess of all elements, very powerful, hence earth, she is goddess of earth, hence creation, hence universe. Universe means everything, not just all universe, the entire universe. So, she is very, very strong and um, goddess of magic. And of course, any ritual you do, uh, she would be a really good goddess to call on, you know, in the Celts. Um, reincarnation, she's in charge of people when they die to go to their next life as well. So she's in charge of a whole bunch of stuff. But me personally, I don't know what other people believe. I believe that the older goddesses like uh, Gaia, for the Celt, for the Greek, which is basically a Titan, they step down, they retire, they don't do this as much anymore. They're still active, but they have a lot more helpers. Um, hence is why some goddesses and gods that we come across are gods or goddesses of the same thing. I think that Dain is always there, just like Gaia. She's just stepped back a little bit and that the other ones take control. But that's just my theory, you know. Um, not that she's not there still. She still does a lot of this stuff, you know. Anyhow, her sacred animal, she has two. A snake. And a fish. And snakes, again, have a bad rap of being evil. Snakes are not evil. Snakes only attack when provoked. And, and of course, the Bible uses a snake to strike fear into people, uses it as a sign of the devil, which is not true at all. Um, I mean, in the Bible, yeah. Well, they used it. Again, they have taken religions from other religions, so the only religion out there that has no basis or scientific evidence that they existed. Um, I don't mean to piss off any Christians out there. I'm just saying if they read the Bible, they will see that it's all taken from other religions to come up with everything they have. Um, but yeah, the snake is a good creature. Uh, fish, hence that she is known as the water goddess or water of heaven. Think about it. I mean, she's Basically, of course, is going to have a sacred animal be a fish. Um, her sacred colors, she has four, is green, blue, silver, and black. Now, sacred colors here really make a lot of sense. Green representing earth. Uh, blue represents water. 
Silver is a representation of the goddess, and black is a representation of protection. Now, she is her sacred element is all four elements, or five, if you can't spell it. Her Sabbath, she has two, and bulk. Lamus Her associated planet is Earth And um, that being the goddess of all elements, of course, she's going to have all the elements that's sacred to her um, Her Sabbath, Embark, and Lamus or basically an Earth uh, Spring stuff to represent renewal of summer, so in the spring. Uh, so she a planet again, Earth, mean, you know, she's, her sacred planet is Earth, makes sense. Um, her, she has ten representations. Her representations are easy to find and easy to use. Um, they are Black Cauldron, Wivels, C, Flowing Water, Air, Wind, Earth, Moon, Keys, and Crones. So basically, you can use the crone symbol to represent crones. Um, back quadrant, that's probably the most expensive one that you're going to have to get. Um, it'll cost money. But wibble, sea, water, air, wind, earth, basically elements, easy to use. Moon rituals, every... Moon's not out. Yeah, technically, it is out every day, but it has different phases. Keys, you can use any keys. Um, her sacred herbs and incense, she had five, and they are Wilbur Stones, Amber, Apple Tree, Power Thorn Tree, she was a self-created goddess, meaning that she had no mother or father. Her lover um, and husband was her own son, but it's not uncommon, and he was father of the gods, God Degna. And she had 15 divine children. And they are, I'm not going to say them because I'll probably mispronounce a lot of them. But here they are.
Okay, um, I hope you enjoyed this presentation of Goddess Dean Moon. But before we go, her children being Elmid, Angus, Elnhood, Bedra, Blyde, Goddess Bridget, Dagna, you know, uh, these famous names that we've done, Lou, I mean, Ogma, Tetis. I mean, she has been goddess of, I mean, the mother of all these 15 divine goddesses and goddesses. They fought in the tri wards with her, no husband. So, anyhow, our next goddess we will be doing is Mystery of the Stags. Try to think who that is. Anyhow, this has been Remo Pagan, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye.